Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the best money methods you could be doing this week to make yourself millions of dollars in GTA 5 online. Now, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like. And if you are new around here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on a future GTA 5 video from me. But now let's get into the very first money method. Okay, so for this first money method, we are going to be taking advantage of one of the adversary modes that is triple money this week. So in order to start this up, you need to open up your pause menu, come over here to online, go to quick join, play jobs, go to rockstar created. Now go down to adversary modes and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see this game mode right here. It's called running back. As I said, this is going to be triple money and triple RP this entire week. So go ahead and start up whichever one of these you guys want to. Once you guys start up any one of these, make sure for the settings, you guys put team balancing set to on just like I did right here, then come down first to win and set that to seven rounds now if it doesn't let you set it to seven rounds and it only lets you set it to like four or three that's because you're probably starting it in a public session you need to make sure you start it in a invite only session in order to get those seven rounds now if you guys have never played this game what i'm not gonna lie it's a pretty fun game mode to play basically what there is is two different teams one team with a whole bunch of tesseracs and one panto and the other team with all tesseracs now the team with the panto which is actually the team that i'm on right now they're their goal is to try to get the panto to the other side of the map to the end zone and if the team makes it to the end zone which is basically what i'm doing right here it's literally that simple once they actually cross that line they have scored their team a point now whichever team gets four points and one round ends up winning the entire round so think about it as four small rounds in each round that you guys are doing in this game mode that's pretty much the simplest way i can explain it to you guys but once your team actually scores a point with the panto it's going to switch and the other team is going to have the panto and i'm pretty sure you guys already know what this team has to do you basically just have to try your best to stop the panto from getting to your end zone basically by just crashing into it or making it get stuck by pinning it against a wall or any tactic that you guys think can stop the panto that's basically what you're going to want to do but now let's just cut straight to it and let me show you guys how much money you get per round and then i'm going to show you guys how much you get at the very end of the entire game mode so here goes the end of the very first round and here's how much money the first place team gets. You can see first place team gets $24,000, second place team gets $12,000 and the RP is also not that bad. You can see first place gets 3600 RP and second place gets 2100 RP and there's only two teams so you either come in first or second place. Now that's a pretty good amount of money you get each round, but here's how much money you get at the very end once you complete this entire game mode. You can see you get a total of $191,000, which is very good, and also 21,000 RP. So if you're looking into leveling up, this is also honestly going to be a really good way for you guys to be leveling up. But of course, this is mainly good for money. Okay, but that now brings us to the next money method in today's video, and that is going to be the HSW time trial for this week. If you guys do not know where this week's HSW time trial is located at, here's the exact location for it. So come over here to this exact location, and once you guys come over here, you're going to want to make sure you go underneath the bridge. Don't get confused, it's not on top of the bridge, it's underneath it. Once you guys come underneath here, make sure you guys have your fastest HSW vehicle, then come up to the time trial and click right D-pad. Now just stay still, simply open up your pause menu though and come all the way over here to where the checkpoint is going to be located at. We're only going to be marking it because when you start the time trial, you actually do not have a waypoint to get there, so this helps us get there. Now you're just going to want to quit the time trial through your phone and once you guys have quit it, now what you're going to want to do is line yourself up just like this so you have the option to click right D-pad and whenever you guys are ready, just click right D-pad to start it. Now a very important thing to do, make sure you guys actually take a right right where I'm going through here. So take a right and come up this little hill right here. Once you guys come up this hill and you're on the road, now you're basically just going to want to follow the waypoint exactly as it tells you all the way over to the destination. Of course, make sure while you're on your way there, you're going as fast as possible and you try your best not to crash because if you do crash a lot you're most likely not going to beat it on your first try at least and yeah now just cutting straight to it here's how much money you get once you do beat the hsw time trial you can see i actually crashed pretty bad when i was going down that hill anyway here's how much money you get you can see two hundred and fifty three thousand dollars which is very good for only underneath four minutes of doing a simple hsw time trial so definitely make sure you guys do this this week that now brings us to the third money method in today's video and this money method is going to be perfect for anybody who doesn't have much in the game. If you guys want to start this money method, all you need to do is open up your pause menu, go to online, go to quick join, go to play jobs, go down to rockstar created, then go down to missions. Now if you guys do not know, every single Lester mission this week is actually going to be paying double money and double RP. I recommend starting up a titan of a job. So start up this one right here, it's called a titan of a job. And once you guys start up this mission, as far as settings go, the only thing you need to do is make sure the difficulty 
is set to hard. That way you get 1.5 times more money in RP. Why not? Make sure you also purchase heavy armor because it'll come in handy, especially while doing this mission. You can do this solo also, by the way, but if you want to have some friends help you, you can also get up to, I think, five friends in this mission to help you out. But you don't have to. You can do it solo if you want to. Make sure, very important step also, as soon as you guys start the mission, you're going to want to go on your phone in real life and set a timer or a stopwatch. You're basically just going to want to take track of time because you need to be in this mission for exactly 15 minutes. So I personally like to put a stopwatch because that way it basically just takes track of time of how long I've been in the mission. So I recommend you guys do that, but you can also do a timer if you want to. Now, most likely when you do the a Titan of a Job mission, you're going to finish it earlier than 15 minutes like I did in this case. It's so simple. You literally go over to the Titan over at LSIA, kill everybody, take the Titan and fly it over here to Sandy Shore Airfield. Make sure if it's under 15 minutes, let's say you are about to finish the mission and it's like 10 minutes. What I recommend you guys do is what I'm doing right now. You literally just park the plane right here, right behind the yellow circle and just wait until the timer hits 15 minutes. Once your timer or your stopwatch has hit 15 minutes and you've been in the mission for that long, that's when you're going to want to finally finish the mission and drive the Titan inside of the L circle. And there you guys go. Now you did the mission correctly and you're now going to get paid the maximum of money that you're supposed to. And here's how much money that is. You can see $50,000, which is pretty good. And take a look at this RP. It's actually not that bad. 7,300 RP. So this is a really good money method if you guys don't have anything in the game because literally anybody can start up this mission. All right, now the fourth money method. For this money method, we are going to be doing the time trial for this week. If you guys do not know where this week's brand new time trial is located at, here's the location for it over here at Elysian Island. So make your way over here and make sure you call out your fastest motorcycle that you guys own. It's just easier doing these time trials with motorcycles. Once you do have your motorcycle though, drive into the time trial and just click right D-pad to start it. Just stay still though once you start it and open up your pause menu. Once you open up your pause menu, come all the way over here to where the checkpoint is located at and just mark it. I'm pretty sure you guys already know why I'm telling you guys to mark it. The only reason I'm telling you to mark it is because when you start the time trial, it doesn't actually give you a waypoint to get there. Anyway, whenever you marked it, open up your phone and just quit the time trial. And once you guys have quit the time trial, now just line yourself up just like this. And whenever you guys are ready, click right D-pad to start it and you're officially going to be in the time trial so if you guys do not know the tips that i always give for these time trials if you're in a motorcycle make sure you're holding rt all the way down and your left joystick all the way up that's how you actually go the max speed on a motorcycle and you also get the best control compared to wheeling but yeah this time trial is super simple all you guys need to do is literally just follow the waypoint all the way through and take those two tips that i give you guys to go the max speed in a motorcycle as long as you guys do those two things and you don't crash you should be able to beat the time trial and here's how much money you get paid this week and this week only for beating it you can see it's more than last week's it's actually two hundred and two thousand dollars so definitely make sure you guys do this time trial this week because after it's not going to pay this much all right now getting into the fifth money method and probably my favorite money method in this entire video and that's going to be business battles if you guys do not know what business battles are you can see it popped up right here in the middle of my screen right now now these business battles pop up whenever you guys are in a public session with more than 10 people in it so that's what you need to do go in a public session and literally just roam around until one of these business battles pop up whenever they pop up it's going to tell you to go somewhere on the map in this case it told me to go to this location and just go to the location and once you're there it's most likely going to have you pick up some crates which is actually the cargo that is coming with this business battle mission you can see there are the crates right there in front of me so whenever you guys go to that business battle location just simply take out all the targets that are around the area pick up one of the crates and once you guys pick up one of the crates all you need to do is deliver it over to your nightclub now i'm pretty sure you guys already know this but you can take multiple crates to your nightclub you can only take one at a time but once you finish delivering this one you can literally go back and get another one and bring it back to your nightclub and that's what you're going to want to do because you want to get as many crates as possible because eventually once you guys get a lot of these crates off these business medals what you need to do is go inside of your nightclub come over here to this desk right here and sit down once you guys are sat down at the desk you're simply just going to want to log in and you'll see how many crates you have in your stock right here you can see i have 150 out of 360 if you guys have a lot you can just come over here to where it says sell goods and click right here where it says sell all goods and you'll make a pretty good amount of money like i said it's going to be paying triple the amount of money and triple the amount of rp as it used to you can see i can actually sell this for almost seven hundred thousand dollars which is actually what i'm going to do right now 
And of course, while selling these goods from your nightclub, if you do decide to do so, I recommend you guys do this in a solo public session because the last thing you want, as I always say while doing these uh, sell missions, is you don't want anybody to blow up your cargo while you're delivering it. So if you guys do want to know how to do the solo public session glitch, I'm going to go ahead and leave it linked down below at the top of the description if you want to check that out. Anyway, this one was super simple, the sell mission that I got at least. All I had to do was deliver it to three different locations, and this is the last location right here. After I finished delivering to the last location, all I had to do was protect the buyer associates, which literally didn't take that long. It was just like three waves of these two uh, mesas that were coming after us, and I took them all out. After I finished taking them all out, I left the area, and I ended up getting paid, which you're going to see here in a second. And here I am leaving the area and right now about right now here we go now I got paid you can see I got paid a total of six hundred sixteen thousand dollars now I didn't get the exact money that it told me because it pays a little bit of a cut to Tony so that kind of sucks he took like seventy thousand dollars but anyway I got six hundred thousand dollars and you can get way more than that I only sold half of the amount that that uh, nightclub can hold anyway now let's get into the very last money method in today's video which is gonna be the RC Bandito time trial for this week if you guys do not know where the new RC Bandito Bandito time trial is located at here is where it is on the map so make your way over here and once you guys come over here to this exact location come up to the time trial and click right d-pad to start it now this week's rc bandito time trial is super simple you guys already know the same thing i always say just make sure you guys take your time and try not to crash as long as you guys do those two things you should beat this one with no problem and once you guys end up beating it here's how much money you get paid one hundred and two thousand dollars which is very good for under two minutes of doing a time trial but like i said that's going to be the last money method in today's video i hope you guys did go on to enjoy if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like and also hit that subscribe button if you are new around here and that's it for me i will see you guys in my next video peace